Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and today we're going to take a look at the DC Nano Metal figures from Jada Toys. That's right, perhaps you guys have seen these in stores by now. I've been really intrigued about these for some time, so today we're going to take a look at the assortment of DC Nano Metal figs. These things look really, really fun. Um, and if you have not seen them yet, essentially what we have here is a line of tiny die cast metal figures. As you can see, with the tape measure, each of these figures stands under two inches tall. So these are very small, uh, all representing different DC characters from all the different forms of media, being comic book, cartoons, and even the movies. And they are really, really nicely done. Uh, you can see right now I'm holding Superman. Really fun, bright, colorful little figures here all the way across the board. Just look at that wide array of colors here. Now these are really neat because there's multiple different ways you can pick these up. Uh, you might find them carded individually. You can also find them in five pack boxes and even larger kind of 10 pack boxes there, uh, which will give you some really fun characters that you can only get in those larger boxes. Uh, specifically, I love this one that has Mr. Freeze and Two-Face, two of my favorite bat villains. How cool is that? But let's take a closer look at the figures themselves. So like I said, there's a great uh, wide array of different types of media that each of these characters are based on. So you can see there's lots of comic book characters here like Superman and Cyborg and Wonder Woman. But one thing that's really cool is you'll notice that there are multiple versions of each of these characters. So there are a few different Wonder Womans that you can collect. There are several different Batmans that you can collect all in different costume colors. Some of them are the same sculpts, just wearing different colors colored costumes. Some of them are different sculpts entirely and I think that is really cool. All of the paint deco on these are really, really nice. Uh, now when you look at the faces, there's not a lot of painted detail on the faces. Mostly it's just the eyes that are painted, but I gotta say they're painted nice and clean actually for the most part. Uh, like looking at Joker and Martian Man under here specifically, um, I feel like the eyes, they're just kind of little dots, but there's a little bit of detail. I mean, like you can see the eyebrows are even painted on the Joker. No mouth or anything like that. So they're really small, small enough that you can't expect a lot of detail on there, especially for the price point. These retail for under a dollar a piece, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, but I love the bright colors that are used otherwise. They all use this really great kind of metallic paint deco that kind of really emotes that whole metal feel by making them all look shiny. And there's a great selection of characters here from the comic books, from Batman the Animated Series, and even from the recent DC movies like Suicide Squad. So whatever your favorite version of the DC Comics is, there are actually quite a few different metals figures to collect. So these are really great that you can collect them on their own. They all have these really nice bases, so they stand very good on your shelf if you just wanna line them up on your shelf. But one thing that's really cool, Jada Toys didn't just stop with figures. We actually have play sets and vehicles that could be posed right alongside these. So let's check some of those out. That is right, my friends. There is a Bat Cave playset. Holy cow, when I saw that they were doing play sets for these, it felt kind of like a whole game changer because I thought that the nano metal figures were cool on their own, but having the ability to display them all on a cool little play set, that really makes these guys extra, extra fun. And on top of that, there are several different Batmobiles out there also. So Jada Toys is well known for their die cast metal car replicas. And it's really cool seeing some of these new Batmobiles done in the smaller scale that are actually in scale with the nano metal figs. Now I've looked at some of the larger Batmobiles in the past and they do quality work. Nice die cast metal on the bottom there, great designs. You can see we've got the 89 Batmobile here and the 66 Batmobile. So there's a couple different options out there. There's several different Batmobiles, all from the different movies, different genres of Batman so whatever you want to use they can all fit with this Batcave playset and let's look closer at this because this thing is awesome now there is some assembly required but it all snaps together very easily won't take you very long to put together in fact there's some stickers on there that you'll need to assemble as well mostly up here on the monitor screens but really it didn't take me very long to put this whole thing together and what we end up with is a very very cool looking playset so this thing stands let's check this out uh, over 11 inches tall, almost a full 12 inches tall is what we're getting on the actual playset here. 
and it kind of reminds me of the older Batcave play sets for like the Toy Biz figures, just the way it's shaped. You'll notice that the back side, of course, is just all plain. There's no details really back there. So your all of your details are here on the front, but it looks very cool. It's got this great kind of rocky cave design, great colors in there. Uh, you even got this little kind of waterway down in the bottom with some flowing water down there, which is really cool. All the little bridges and the little spot right here for your Batmobile to sit. In fact, look at this. There's a little opening garage on the back, which is kind of fun. Now, it doesn't really lead anywhere <laughs> but it's still cool for you know displaying your batmobile that way if you want to so check that out the batmobile can drive in right there through that little garage door shut the door you can have your batmobile parked right there on the little landing pad for the batmobile it has the bat signy on it and it does take batteries and when we press the little on off button here look at that it even lights up the bat signal. It'll look really cool, especially in a more dim lit room. I know my studio lights are pretty bright, so it's kind of uh, making that not look as bright as it could, but it looks really cool with the light kind of glowing up underneath the Batmobile when it's parked there. So there's a lot of fun little details on here as well. I love the workstation up there with the back computer, which is very cool. Up above that, we've got a little doorway up here that doesn't actually open, but one thing that's really cool, you'll notice that he does have a silver bat suit on display behind a case there. This doesn't open or anything, but it really makes for a very neat little display area to have the bat suit up there on display. Uh, we got all these great little stairs and rails to walk around the bat cave. We do have these little like elevator things here. Um, there, it's like a tube. It doesn't actually move or anything. Like I said, pretty much everything about this is mostly just for display. But what's really cool about that is that there's a spot on here to display all of your metal nano figs. You'll notice all around the bat cave, you got these little indents here, here. They're all over the place. There's some up here on top. There's up on the top. There's up here in the elevator. All of those are shaped specifically for your actual nano metal figures to stand on. So look at that. Great little areas to stand all your figures. So you can really kind of fill this up with characters however you want to. You can add as many characters as you want to. I mean, hey, let's put some villains in here, why don't we? Let's just say the villains broke in. Look at that, we got Killer Croc. We've got Two-Face, we've got Mr. Freeze, we've got a Joker, albeit the Suicide Squad Joker, but look, you could fill this up with all these characters and even have some of Batman's friends come in to, uh, to help them out. You know, Superman, maybe Flash is running in here. And of course, you don't have to stand them in the areas that just have the little uh, display ports. You'll notice I'm standing them kind of anywhere because it's a nice, solid display piece, and I think that's what's so fun about this. It's gonna make for a great shelf display and a really cool little environment to be able to display all of your nano metal figs and the Batmobiles that fit it. I think these are a lot of fun, and I think Jada is doing something really fun with these new nano metal figs. And they got a whole line out there aside from just DC. There's some Harry Potter stuff, complete with its own playset. Street Fighter, Disney, they are hitting all sorts of licenses with these. And like I said, the price point is pretty good. Uh, the individual figures uh, retail for 99 cents a piece, which is pretty cool. And it's real easy to just kind of grab one or two of your favorites and add them to your collection, but with a cool display like the Batcave, I think it's easy to pick up a bunch of them and have a really cool display of DC characters on your shelf. So very special thanks to my friends over at Jada Toys for sending this along so we can get a good look at it outside of the packaging. I think these are a lot of fun. They are available in stores right now, primarily at places like Walmart. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until next time, my friends.